I hate people. And today I plan on doing everything in my power to hate people as far away from my house as possible. So the first thing that we're going to create is the wall that is going to be surrounding this thing. Now, and they're going to reveal something that the player probably doesn't want to see. And those things are blaze. Now the first thing that I should probably do is make sure that fire tick is off. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that would probably be pretty bad news if they start and then this entire thing burns down. So now that that's covered, let's ourselves into survival mode and let's see how powerful this is. Well, most of them missed. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that was a pathetic by almost all of them. And weirdly enough, this wasn't actually one of them, but it came into my head and I thought I had to build it. I love the idea of being creepers over the top of the wall. So let's see if this thing actually works. In theory, it should. If we hit this button right here. <laughs> no, that's gone terribly. Can you imagine if you that button? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think, I think if I was a house and then evokers burst out of the ground this would be me yeah mm, no one detail that i have somehow missed is the fact that we as the player who actually this house still need to be able to it so i've created this pathway out the front where everything but the way that i want to have access to this place is by using a slime block launcher that then leads us up and over the wall but the way that we're going to activate that is of course by using some form of key card and that, it turns out, is far easier said than done. So there we go. I would say we have got ourselves a pretty decent house set up right here. We have got a fully functioning blaze turret system. We've got creepers that get shot out over the walls. We also have vindicators or evokers that pop out of the ground and it's all over the place. We've got a double lava moat, which, let's be honest, looks absolutely fantastic when it all activates we've got little areas that you can't on that will drop the player into lava we also have tactically deployed bows you're going to the player who owns the safe house is then going to all your stuff because it's ended up in these hoppers he's going to take it run off into the sunset never to be seen again it's it's perfect so there we have it guys i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys this has been mumbo and i'm out i'll see you later Oh, and if you can't tell, throughout this entire video, I've been getting progressively iller to the point that my throat is basically the size of a pea. It, ah, oh, I don't know what's happened to it. It's really bad.